Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello viewers, my name is Stephen Kariungi, a biology teacher in Manifested e-learning forum. And I want to take you through biology form three, the first topic, which is classification two. And before we go through classification two, it is important that uh, we review what was covered in form one under the topic classification one. So I'll give you an outline of what we covered in classification one. So first of all, uh, we defined classification. So we have the definition. Then we looked at uh, the importance of classification. Then we looked at uh, binomial nomenclature and the rules that are followed. Uh, then we introduced the five kingdoms of taxonomy. So basically, that is what we covered in Form 1 under Classification 1. We'll just uh, uh, briefly mention uh, what is the definition of classification. And classification is the grouping, is the grouping of living organisms based on similarities and differences. So we've said that uh, uh, classification is the grouping of living organisms based on similarities and differences. Uh, the other term I would want us to explain is binomial nomenclature, which is the uh, foundation or the principle of classification. So binomial nomenclature is the assigning of two scientific names to an organism whereby the first name is the genus name and the second name is the species name. So binomial, by means two. So there must be two names and those two names must be scientific names. That is the genus and the species name. I would want to give an example here. And I want to use an example of a very common plant, and that is maize. Uh, maize is the common name. The scientific name for maize is Zaire maize. So that scientific name has two names, whereby the first name is the genus name, the second name is the species name. Now, when you are writing that scientific name, uh, there are some rules that we need to follow. And one of the rules is that the, uh, the genus name or the first name must start with a capital letter and all the others should be, all the other letters should be small. Whereas the species name should be written in small letters. So that is one rule that needs to be followed as indicated here. Number two, the two names should be underlined separately. They should be underlined separately, not using one line, but using two lines to show that there are two different names. That's another rule that needs to be followed. In case is a new name that has been discovered, Sometimes it is accompanied with the name of the first person to assign that name. So that one only applies in some situations, but not in all situations. It only applies when it is a newly discovered name. But for our case here, it's not a newly discovered name. Uh, the other thing that um, we shall also review are the five kingdoms of taxonomy. But before you look at the five kingdoms of taxonomy, it is important to define what is taxonomy. Taxonomy is the science 
of classification. Is the science of classification. Because classification may not necessarily be scientific. Because we can classify things, we can classify objects, and so on and so forth. But the science behind classification is referred to as taxonomy. And in this taxonomy, uh, we divide uh, organisms into what we call the kingdoms. The kingdoms. the five kingdoms of taxonomy and we are going to list them we have number one we have what we call kingdom monera number two we have kingdom protoctista number three we have kingdom fungi Four, we have kingdom plantae. And then five, we have kingdom animalia. Those are the five kingdoms of taxonomy that we have. Also, when you are writing the names of the kingdoms, the first letter should be capital. Monera, M. P, protoctista, F for fungi, P for plantae, A for animalia. So you need to consider that as a student so that um, uh, you follow the rules that are supposed to be followed during uh, taxonomy. They are, those are the five kingdoms of taxonomy. So we're going to have a review of what we have learned today. We have learned the definition of classification which is the grouping of organisms based on similarities and differences. Uh, we've also learned about why it is important to classify living organisms so that you can avoid confusions that would be there, and also for easier arrangement of information. So when you classify organisms, you arrange the information in an orderly manner, like we have already seen, the kingdoms arranged systematically. Uh, we have also learned about uh, the binomial nomenclature, which is the assigning of two names, whereby there is the genus and the species name. And we have given an example. There are many examples that we can give, but we have just given one. The rules, number one, is that the first letter of the genus name should start with a capital letter. The first letter of the genus name should start with a capital letter and all the other letters should be small. That's rule number one. Rule number two, since there are two names, they should be underlined separately like we have done. Genus name separately, species name separately. Uh, number three, in case it's a newly discovered organism, sometimes it is accompanied with the name of the person who first discovered. For example, we can have Zia Maze Linnaeus. That is the person who first discovered maize, for instance. So we've also gone through the science of uh, classification, which we have defined as taxonomy. And we have said that taxonomy entails uh, first of all, dividing the organisms into five kingdoms. Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protoctista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Plantae, and Kingdom Animalia. Those are the five kingdoms. So we'll stop there for today, and I'll give you a question to uh, remind you on what we have covered today. So the assignment for today, state three rules of binomial nomenclature. So that marks the end of today's lesson. Uh, we have uh, 
uh, reviewed classification one. The next lesson, now we shall embark on classification two, where we shall start with explaining now the kingdoms in details according to their characteristics. Thank you and have a good day. Thank <music> you.